oké, okay, wat gaan we doen? We gaan even mensen filmen die... Hé, hey. hey, jou Mieke! Wat? Dit is heel erg leuk. Hoe doe je het? Hoe doe je het? Ik ben heel erg blij. 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 I have a lot of different influences, you know, coming from jazz and pop and R&B, soul, everything, you know, and uh, hip hop as well, you know, and it's, it's sort of a blend. But for some reason, when I when I make music, it just becomes rock and roll. <laughs> so okay. I don't know. Oh, the bench is taken. Can we sit beside you guys? And with you uh, with a microphone <laughs> <laughs> you mean the dreaded microphone yeah. incident <laughs> yeah. tell us about that <laughs> yeah, what can I say rock and roll man <laughs> <laughs> I've been compared to Jimi Hendrix to everybody since I did that it's been crazy <laughs> but was the microphone working after that uh, <laughs> yes I'm sure you were those still things are heavy dude <laughs> that I didn't know about this country at all mm -hmm. uh, before I did the show and you know it was a real education and stuff and uh, it was it was great also you know just I mean you know obviously you know that I've done things in the, in the States and mm -hmm. stuff so uh, it was great to just get back on TV and you know to just mm -hmm. be you know kind of doing it in front of especially in front of a, such a you know massive live audience you know in front of mm -hmm. so many millions of people all at once it was, it was very very it was a bit humbling mm -hmm. it was great very nerve wracking too but it was yeah. great <laughs> but, and what would you say was a negative aspect of being in a show like that? I don't really know. I just saw it as a positive experience. I thought it was great. You mm -hmm. know, for me, I just came away feeling like, you know, this is so cool, you know. It's yeah. just, uh, I felt really uh, honored to, you know, to be able to be on the show in the first place. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun. And, and uh, everyone, everyone was really cool mm -hmm. to me. You know, especially like when I was doing the, the battle performance, you know, uh -huh. after, especially after, I happened to, I did happen to notice that after I did the battle performance, there was a bit of a, sort of like a bit of a perceptual change and stuff, I was getting a lot of respect after the mm. screen. <laughs> but you know, Chris, what you don't know, where's my bag? Did I just uh -oh. lose it? Oh, oh, here we go. What you don't know is that we, of course, we have seen each other because you're performing tomorrow in the Puerto Patanega. That's right, we sure are. And we were promoting and the gig. And we want you to be there. Look. There you go. See? <laughs> Ta-da! Yours truly. <laughs> uh, How's that for a What plug? did I say? This is a great filer, I said. I mean flyer. <laughs> but, <laughs> and you're going to be here tomorrow starting... The gig is starting at 8, I think. Yeah, 8 o'clock. Yeah. At Puerto Pata Negra, yeah. which is across from the Lloyd Hotel and down the street from the old Panama. So we were here promoting you, and then all of a sudden we walk into you. How funny is that? What a coincidence. And you have your guitar with you. Do you think you would be willing you, to you play, play some? Yes, of course. Well, I'll be honored. <laughs> I would love for you to play. It doesn't get any more spontaneous than this. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Oh, I got a broken string on this thing, but let me see if I can uh, pull it off anyway. Let me 
need the old plectrum, you know.